Hey, good morning RVers and YouTube fans. Today is weekly maintenance on the RV. Um, you know, of course the RV's been parked for um, probably about two weeks. And what I like to do every week is I like to check the oil and uh, just take a look around and make sure everything looks good, start her up, and go from there. So come along with me. I think one of the biggest challenges is finding a place to put the camera so you can do this. The engine looks good, everything looks nice and stable. There's nothing leaking. Uh, I'm gonna check the oil here. Now I haven't started her up yet, so. I'm gonna make sure the oil's in good shape. If you recall, I replaced the oil condensing unit and um, I did have a small oil leak before I left Florida. And so uh, that was repaired as well. So let's take a look and see if we've had any leakage since the unit's been sitting. Ah, beautiful. Yep, oil's in good, good shape, good level. No issues there. No issues there. So, all right, hang out because I'm going to go ahead and get her started. Hopefully, the camera won't fall into the engine. Ah. Okay, everything looks good. She started right up, no issues today. Everything in here looks good. Tire pressures look good. Don't see any issues with the tires. Of course, I need to get them covered. Tire pressures look good over here. Of course, I'm not on my uh, leveler as far as I probably should be but my level's good so I'm not too worried about that. Everything looks good over here. Tire looks good. I don't see any issues with air pressures on that tire or the dually. And I gotta get the I gotta get the hubcap back on from this one. That looks good. Listen to this thing hum. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay, that was my weekly um, maintenance on the RV. I'll let the RV run for probably 20 minutes or so, I guess, and then I'll shut her down. Okay, so that's my weekly update. Um, I do have a question for you RVers out there that are more experienced than I. Um, when I got my propane tank filled this time, it, um, it appears it was over full. Now, I've had my propane tank filled four or five times since I've owned the rig, but this time, I'm having a little trouble. First of all, the indicators on the RV, on the propane tank itself and on the meters in the rig show that the propane's full. Now, I've never had the meter show the propane being full before. But what's happening is when I turn the gas on, um, the gas will run a little while, like on the stove or on the uh, hot water furnace, but then it shuts off. So I wait 10 minutes or so, and I can go ahead and turn the stove back on. So I don't know if the line needs to be bled, or maybe they overfilled it, or if the pressures are too high. The regulator's working fine, at least I think the regulator's working fine. So I don't know if it's the regulator or what it is. So if anybody has any suggestions out there on what to do, let me know. So thanks for watching. Um, thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Again, the channel continues to grow in a very, very fast way. and. Um, it's wonderful to have all of you following my adventure. So thanks so much and have a great day today.